This is our fourth annual CTE Symposium here at Universal Autumn Reads. The symposium is a culmination of three years of hard work by our seniors in their different career pathways. Culinary arts, digital production, engineering, automotive or health related technologies. The scholars show off their skills to the general public, business partners, community members, parents or scholars. We're so excited for them and we're extremely proud of their accomplishments. Kegler. I did my project on nutrition and okay so first I'm going to explain to you about what nutrition is. It's basically how you um, basically it has an impact on who you are, how you how you grow, how tall you could be. It has a serious role in how tall you are, how much you weigh, stuff like that. So following nutrition it should be very important in your everyday life. And you should not eat a lot of cookies, a lot of have a lot of soda, sugar. And this is what you should have: milk, water, asparagus, bananas. And that's what you should have to follow a healthy nutrition. More than 78% of adults in the United States are obese, meaning that's more than half of the people in the United States are not following healthy nutrition. Choking is basically when you have the blockage of an airway so you can't breathe by an object or a liquid can uh, sometimes occur. My name is Charles Johnson. I'm an automotive teacher here at uh, Universal Arden Reed. We got an up-to-date shop to help the students understand safety first when dealing with heavy equipment. We have a tire balancer over here, a tire changer. We have a brake lathe where we cut and refinish old rotors, make them new again. And basically what I want to do is teach the kids the basics and for them to be able to put on their resume and get a job that, you know, they have, they leave the school with OSHA certifications, SB2 certifications, and I just wanna give them the foundation of what they need for the industry. program at my 11th grade year. Um, I came in from a different school, but I had a little bit of culinary experience. So when I started my career path in the culinary field at, here at Orton Reed, um, I was already in tune to it. Um, here at Orton Reed, I gained a lot of more experience in order to go into the workforce, where I've been working at a restaurant for two years now. Uh, I have several certifications that we get here at the school that they fully pay for, like serve safe, workplace safety, and food safety. So it's been a really interesting year. Um, I've taken those certifications into the workplace and surpassed a lot of my coworkers. Cooking is a passion, so here at Orton Reed, you can take that passion and you can really learn and expand and meet a lot of new people in the industry and that you work side by side with.
our senior symposium is Mexico wanted us to build a brand for ourselves. My brand is antisocial. I came with the logo of the ghost with the headphones because antisocial people are usually the ghosts of society. They're usually not really noticed by anybody other than other antisocial people or other ghosts. The headphones is because everyone likes to shut other people out when they're antisocial. They usually keep to themselves. And the space design for my banner and my poster is because Antisocial people usually keep themselves in their own little world, their own space, and their own like galaxy. So I actually started playing basketball when I was five. Um, I love the sport. I want to pursue it. I want to actually go overseas and play basketball to, um, to just continue my career. And then when I'm done with that, become a basketball coach because I love coaching kids and basketball all together. Gypsum melanin. Well, my target audience was the uh, like darker women. That's what melanin is, like darker pigment skin, darker pigment hair. Senior Symposium project was very open-ended, but students were basically asked to solve an engineering problem uh, that we face in the world today. And they could do so using any of the four main pillars of engineering, which are civil engineering, mechanical, chemical, and electrical. Student Arsima Musi did her project, uh, which is a model of a parking garage that cars can park in and has a solar panel roof. So if we buy more electric cars, we need uh, the, the garage that works with the solar panel. So the solar panel is like safe, it like, doesn't cost us that much. Energy efficient lights, the, they're connected to a pho photo resistor so that when it's light out during the day, the lights stay off. And then when it gets dark at night, the lights turn on automatically. For me and Henry's Senior Symposium project, we decided to make a greenhouse that showcases the effects of greenhouse gases on our earth. We use our engineering skills to create a house that is basically used to describe how and show how the greenhouses would work and affect the earth. We got three layers, plastic, plywood, and cardboard. Plastic meant to represent the glass, cardboard meant to have structure for the home. The cardboard would basically insulate the heat inside of the house to once again simulate how a greenhouse would work. Mm -hmm. 